live. Let's see what happens. Here we go. We're live. We're on the air. I hope. I think. I'm praying. We're going to find out in any moment now. Um, here we go. We're yes. Uh, I hear myself. I better uh, mute myself over here so I don't, uh, you know, be doing that kind of nonsense. And uh, how are you guys doing out there? Uh, it's Bruce here, traveling with Bruce. Am I coming through? Are any of you folks seeing me out there? <laughs> I'm going to find out in a minute. Uh, wait for the uh, wait for the uh, delay to come through and see if folks are catching me here. Uh, so far, looks okay. Um, how are you guys doing today? It's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. I'm in Calgary, Alberta. I'm in my daughter's um, uh, condo, and I'm waiting to see if anyone is catching me live. Um, there is a bit of a delay, and we'll see how it's going. But right now, I got 17 viewers showing on my system. And uh, what color is your shirt? Uh, it's none of your business. Uh, <laughs> it's like a peach color. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's a it's a peach color, Robert. It's not it's not that other color. It's kind of a you know uh, coming through fine, seeing just fine. Oh great, uh, can't I can hear you all the way to New York? <laughs> Everyone's getting the same. Fantastic. I have been worrying since last night whether this was going to work or not because the signal the sing, signal strength here. Wasn't all that great uh, last night. We were doing the speed testing to see what was going on, and we were worried that oh, this might not upload. But yeah, so far so good. So we'll uh, we'll take that as a, a positive sign. Hi everybody, welcome to the show. Uh, you have arrived at Traveling with Bruce here in Calgary, Alberta, and I'll tell you, here in Calgary, we are uh, suffering from the forest fire uh, fallout, uh, the smoke. It's unbelievable. We don't have forests around this city. Um, Calgary's in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Uh, really, the foothills just start just kind of out of town from here, about 20 miles. And uh, you can see the Rockies from some of the skyscrapers up here, or depending on what hill you live on, you can see a whole line of Rocky Mountains. And between us and the Rockies, we have forests. We don't have any fires between here and the Rocky Mountains. None. Um, the nearest forest fire to this city is in, inside the first couple of ranges of the mountains. And a lot further north than here but um you know what happens uh, trees burn and the smoke goes up in the air and uh hot air rises and these weather systems can carry the smoke hundreds of miles and uh, i tell you here in calgary we are socked in like it's a london fog it is just terrible uh jen and i drove uh, five and a half hours yesterday from creston all the way to here now, as the crow flies, if we could drive in a straight line, <laughs> we'd be here in an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 30 minutes maybe. But uh, unfortunately, uh, getting around these mountains and these mountain ranges, it takes five and a half hours. Anyway, uh, smoky all the way, the entire way from our house to here, uh, forest fire smoke everywhere. And uh, if you walk from your car uh, into, a, you know, into a gas station and you want to use the bathroom, you can smell the smoke in the air. You just make a make up you can it'll, yeah it hits you it's unbelievable it's just terrible all of western canada is covered also the u.s uh, northwest u.s a lot of it is covered too just terrible folks the, the the fires this year are just a disaster and uh mother nature has decided to that this year we are burning uh thankfully creston and calgary are fire free but not smoke free so there you go but anyway jen and i made it uh we drove in yesterday Made it just fine and uh, all is well. Uh, Jennifer is uh, hanging out with her sister for a couple of nights and uh, getting some camping in. They've got a bit of a, a fifth wheel uh, kind of a slide out uh, trailer and they love doing that. And so there's a family reunion on the family, so on the wife's side going on and I don't have to go. <laughs> so I'm hanging out with my daughter. She's at work now uh, because here in Calgary, it is three o'clock in the afternoon, five o'clock Eastern in New York. Uh, and she's at work, and uh, I will catch up with her uh, after dinner time today and uh, spend some daddy-daughter time. Pretty good. Can't complain about that. And uh, I will try to broadcast uh, from this location uh, today, uh, being, uh, being Thursday, tomorrow, Friday. And then starting Saturday, I will be at uh, the house that I was at last week. Uh, you saw that house. That's my, my daughter and her boyfriend's house. Uh, I will be there looking after the cats. Again, uh, Mr. Stinky and uh, and uh, um, uh, Pan and Eddie, the three amigos. I'll look after those guys. Uh, I will be broadcasting there Saturday, 
Uh, and then Sunday is off. I'll be there Monday, Tuesday, uh, and I hope to broadcast also on Wednesday. So at least three days. Don't know about Thursday, Friday next week. I'll let you know because we are planning on coming back and there's all kinds of stuff going on. I have our friend of mine, I have a cousin of mine flying in from Germany next week, Wednesday from Frankfurt uh, with his uh, lovely wife. They're coming in uh, to spend uh, about three weeks in Canada, but they're going to be in Calgary for, I think, three days. We're going to see them for one and a half of those. And then they're heading into the mountains. Hopefully, by the time they get here next week, this smoke thing will have hopefully cleared off a bit. We are expecting rain. Cross our fingers by the weekend. Oh, I hope it happens. Um, higher humidity, a bit of moisture will clear the skies a lot. Anyway, they're coming out, and uh, they're going to be in the mountains for about four or five days, and then they are heading to Creston to catch up with Jennifer and I, and we will beat them there. We will be already waiting for them, and we'll have them at our place for about a week or so, and I'll be trying to broadcast in between being the host with the most uh, in Creston. So lots going on here, uh, everything in, in flux, but um, wherever I can get an Internet connection, I can broadcast, and so here we are, and so welcome uh, one and welcome all. If you've never been to my show before, you've never broadcast, seen me before, I'm Bruce uh, uh, with Traveling with Bruce. love talking about cruise ships and cruise ship vacations. Uh, we love talking about getting away and uh, enjoying the good life. Um, uh, any of you have questions about any cruises or cruise lines or cruise ships or uh, cruise ports of call or you're taking a cruise for the first time and you're wondering what you're allowed to take, what you're not allowed to take, uh, any questions about how, how it works on a cruise ship, let me know. Uh, that's what we're here for. For new cruisers, this channel is for you. For those of you who've cruised a few times or a lot more than a few times, this channel is also for you. We love talking about cruise ships and cruise ship vacations all the time, and uh, we love comparing notes. And uh, my gang here who are signing in like crazy right now will be more than happy to try to answer any questions you have out there about going on a cruise. So there you go. Um, I'm going to say hi to everybody as as we uh, kind of gear this up here. Um, just double checking, make sure my phone is standing up properly and the computer picture is okay. Uh, so uh, the first person in uh, today who first signed in today was Joseph Hollyfield. Joseph, are you new to my channel? Uh, hello, this is Joseph. I, it, 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 it looks like Bostick, North Carolina. It's 89 degrees. Welcome to my uh, show. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time ever, I'm glad you're here. It's fantastic. If you have any questions, uh, let us know. Um, Brittany Lockwood is also here today saying, hi, Bruce and all. Last day, I will be in Baton Rouge till either sometime in September or even October. I uh, just uh, do not know uh, which fall break uh, I will be home uh, for yet because she's going to college, getting ready to go. Tom Henry, hi, Brittany and Joseph. Uh, Brittany is saying uh, it is 95 uh, and, and it feels like 108 right now in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, in, uh, in in Thibodeau, uh, where she's headed for school, it's 82. It feels like 93. Well, the good news is that every day you're in school, the days are, of course, getting a bit shorter. And hopefully the temperatures will moderate starting September and into October. It'll be rather comfortable down there, Brittany. But, yep, the school is about to kick in and here we go. Fantastic. Tom Henry. 90 Fahrenheit in Richmond, Virginia. Welcome back, Bruce. Thanks, uh, Tom. I appreciate you uh, catching up with me today. Uh, Brittany, you're wondering if at least one cat will make an appearance today. No, not today. There are no cats here, uh, but uh, starting uh, Saturday. Yeah, starting Saturday, I'm sure. <laughs> They'll wander right in front of the screen wondering, oh, what are you doing? Uh, let's go down, Bruce. Why are you staring at that computer all the time? Why are you talking to it? Uh, there's nobody here but us. Uh, you must be talking to us. Treats? Yeah, that's what's going on. So well, you'll see them. Uh, Tom Henry. I bet they will show. I uh, hope Bruce doesn't have the transmission issues again. I hope so, too, Tom. Brittany, I got the rest of my errands run yesterday uh, afternoon, evening, went to five different places, including got a bite to eat while I was out with my mom. Well done, Brittany. Uh, Peter Heckema is here. Hey, Bruce. Hope all is well with everyone. A beautiful day in Tarpon Springs today in Florida, high of 92. Spent some time on the beach this afternoon. No, uh, no red tide in our area so far. Um, that is good news uh, for sure. Brittany uh, saying uh, starting next week, I am not sure how often I'll be able to watch the show as I tend to eat dinner early, but I'm thinking about maybe eating dinner between shows. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> She's adjusting her life for the show. Is that? Now that's dedication, folks. You got to love that. Um, Tom Henry, how about some red sunburn? <laughs> And Brittany, oh, God bless you, darling. Uh, Brittany sent me a $5 super chat donation today on, on tape on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, thank you, Brittany, uh, for that. Uh, uh, save your pennies for college, though, but thank you for your help. I appreciate it very much. Also, a special shout-out today 
to uh, Robert Brandt, uh, uh, who sent me a, a donation today on PayPal. Robert, as usual, as always, thank you. Uh, uh, I know that's not a first time for you, and I thank you very much. I'm just adjusting my chair here, folks. You wonder what I'm doing. Thanks, Robert, for uh, for your uh, your continued support of my channel. I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, uh, make sure you get a pass for your absence. Laugh out loud, Tom Henry saying. Uh, Robert Brandt is here. Hi, Bruce, and everyone is 74 as we sail from uh, Melk, Austria to Vienna. All right, now, Robert Brandt, for those of you who don't know, he's on a um, riverside, a river cruise in Europe. Uh, he's on a Viking river cruise ship right now. Uh, Robert lives in St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. He's on this trip, this phenomenal trip, and uh, he joins us live on my shows. I, I don't know if he's going to make it tonight for trivia or not, but I am on tonight for 8 o'clock Eastern. It all holds up with the internet for my uh, show tonight. So fantastic. Welcome back, Robert. I'm glad you're here. Richard C., 90s in Philly, um, uh, Carnival stock went up almost a dollar today. Uh, yeah, the markets had a good day today. Uh, I know they were up. Uh, at one point today, I saw the, the uh, U.S. stock market up 400 plus points. I don't know how it ended up. Let me take a peek here. <clears throat> 396 points, just about 400 points. Um, interesting how uh, the the uh, the uh, the talk this morning. Why was the market up? First was Cisco Systems. They came up with uh, very strong earnings. Then uh, Walmart came out with ex higher than expected numbers for Walmart. That is a big deal on the Dow Jones 30. Um, but the other news was. Um, uh, the administration, uh, there's talk now that they're going to start uh, negotiating a, a new set of trade deals, especially with China, to try to calm this down. What I find interesting is that uh, when the administration reverses course and goes back on themselves and says, well, you know, instead of being tough guys on trade, well, we'll negotiate on trade, the market goes up 400 points. <laughs> What's the market trying to tell you? Uh, yeah, don't do the other thing. Do this. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Uh, that's just so much fun out there. Not every stock ended up on the day on my short list here. Uh, Facebook was down. Tesla was down. Now eBay was off a little. JCPenney was off a little. That's some of the retailers. And um, I noticed here that uh, NVIDIA was off. Microsoft was basically unchanged. And um, uh, Royal Caribbean ended up a dollar. Uh, Carnival up 63 cents. And um, Norwegian lost 8 cents. On a 400 point up day, Norwegian loses eight cents a share. Hmm, wonder why that would be. Uh, well, there are issues, but their oil did drop today in price. And so that will help the industry, the cruise business. Uh, of course, it'll help us as passengers because if the, uh, if the cruise lines pay less for oil, they don't have to bump prices to compensate for it, which is good news for us. Anyway, there you go. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, Seakeeper is here. Hi, Bruce and all. 92 degrees here in. Uh, Muggy, not a hint of breeze, sunny. It's a good day for a rum and coke. Thumbs up, everyone. Back in Calgary, huh? Two smoking Creston sailing in 10 days. I got to tell you, it's worse here. The smoke is worse here than in Creston. Yeah, and I, I thought we were closer to the fires in Creston, but Creston is right at the border, the U.S. border. Now, there are fires in Idaho, but nothing like catastrophically crazy big. But there's some major sized forest fires in northern British Columbia. And I guess the smoke is, is is headed from, let's see, I'm not sure what, which direction to go. The fires are up here and Calgary's down here. The fires sort of do, the wind does this and comes by and we're way down here and the fires are doing this, but we get the smoke um, nonetheless in Creston as well. But here in Calgary, uh, weather advisories, uh, air quality advisories, they're telling us uh, any pets, keep them indoors. Don't let your dogs out, don't let the cats out. Keep your pets in the house. Um, and for elderly, uh, do not take elderly people outside in this in these conditions. It's just awful. And any of you who do have to go out, do not go for a jog. Don't be going for a strenuous workout outdoors and try to breathe in the fresh air. There is no fresh air. It is awful. Anyway, there you go. And Jordan, good morning, Bruce and all. 28 in Brisbane today. 28. That's getting up to uh, 70, high 70s. You're getting close to 80 degrees. Uh, I thought you were in the middle of winter there, Ann. Fantastic weather. That is wonderful. Welcome back to my show. Brittany is saying hi. Ed Tolson, hello, everyone. Uh, hot and balmy here in New York uh, City at 93 degrees. Uh, Tom Henry saying it's too hot now, and it's getting too hot. Wes Morrison is here. Good good morning. Uh, good day. Hi, Wes. How you doing, buddy? Paul Wilgus. Hey, Bruce and all. It's 86 and very humid here in Virginia. This is the warmest it's been since the end of June. Wow, that's something. Uh, 86 degrees. Wes, a 98 in New Braunfels, Texas, 98. 
Tracy Dunlap, hi, Bruce and Alton. Hot in Naples, Florida, 92 Fahrenheit. Feels like 104, 70% uh, 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 humidity. Uh, went by a gas station today, 279 uh, at uh, Walm. It looks like Walm, W-A-W-A. I'm not sure what that is. Didn't get any because that's not my job. <laughs> I don't get gas. I look, yeah. The other one takes care of the cat. Fantastic, Tracy. Uh, welcome to the show. I'm glad you're here, and uh, and welcome back to my uh, telecast. I'm hoping it'll hang right in there. Paul Wilgus, uh, Tracy Dunlop, so spoiled, laughing out loud. Uh, Reggie and her man, what's happening? Hey, Reggie and Rand, how are you? Robert Brandt, what's the color of your shirt? Uh, oh, a peach. This is a peach color. Um, uh, Ed Solson, you're coming through just fine. Peter Heckma seemed just great. Reggie, I can hear you all the way to New York. Tracy Dunlop, you're on, Bruce. Cat, hi, Cat. Cat saying hi to me. Alunai. Alunai, um, hi Bruce, no merchandise uh, shirt today. No, I'm in Calgary. The shirts are back in Creston and I'm just wearing my regular stuff. Um, welcome to the show. Reggie Nuran, orange? No, that's uh, this is not orange, this is peach. Uh, TG, TG Elite, hi from Rockford, Texas. How, how you doing? Welcome, uh, welcome TG, 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 how are you? Uh, welcome to the show. If you're brand new, welcome. If you're a returnee, welcome back. I'm glad you're here, Robert Brandt. I think it's a different... Uh, Fruit than peach. Uh, I don't think so. This peach. This this is peach. This isn't that. This isn't that other color. Uh, do I have any of that other color uh, to show you? Yeah, yeah I have that other color. Uh, you see this color here? Yeah. That's the color you're thinking this is, but that's not what this shirt. No, th this is peach, and this is the other color, <laughs> which I will not name. Because I don't want to lose another 20 subscribers as soon as I name it. I got to be careful here. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, Richard C., what? No traveling with Bruce shirts today? Uh, well, they're back at the back of the house. Tom Henry, uh, it's good so far. Paul Wilgus laughing out loud. Robert, Reggie and your man missed the test earlier. Uh, it's all good, Reggie. We, we did it. We think we, we were okay. Sea Keeper, we are in full something mode. I, I, I can't, I can't, you know, I can't say that word. Um, Robert Brand, hi Paul. Paul Wilkes, hey Robert. And Jordan, uh, R.I.P. Aretha Franklin, the greatest lady of soul, has passed away at age 76. That is true. We've been hearing her music all day on the radio stations here today. Reggie and your man, do you have AC to filter air? Not in this place. Um, this condo does not have air conditioning. Uh, we're on a lower floor, so it's generally cooler here, but um, I don't have uh, a filter and we don't have air conditioning in this house, uh, unfortunately. So I have to deal with what I have to deal with. Um, uh, Paul Wilgus said, Robert, where are you today? Robert Brandt, very sad, Andrew, about uh, Aretha Franklin. Uh, heaven's got her now, let me tell you. But Robert Brandt, we were in um, uh, Melk, Austria, tomorrow and Saturday in Vienna. Two nights in Vienna, fantastic. Cat, 84, feels like 91 here, she said. Tracy Dunlop, laughing out loud, Peter. Uh, all right, Paul. Paul, uh, cool, Robert. How many more days for the cruise, Robert? Monday ends in Budapest. Then we fly to Thailand for five days. Yes. Seakeeper, <coughs> they burn the sugarcane fields here once in a while here. That smokes us out for a day or two. I hate it when they do that. Yeah, I can imagine. That's, uh, that's yuck. Um, and Jordan, uh, uh, awesome. Robert Brand, hope the cruise is well. Cat, I read last night that uh, a CEO from California is reaching all across the USA. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, uh, you know, we're getting at Canada. Canada, uh, right over to Ontario in Canada as well. Smoke everywhere. There's smoke in British Columbia, Alberta, and Saskatchewan. Uh, that's got to be a distance of 1,000 miles east to west and <clears throat> and 1,000 miles north to south. Just smoked in. Just uh, unbelievable. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> Desi Wagner saying hi to me. Hi, Desi. Uh, hi, Bruce and all. Humid 85 in Chicagoland. Desi, I hope you're feeling better. Hope you're coming around. Uh, we're trying to hang in here with all the smoke. Reggie and her man, when's your next cruise? When is my next cruise? That is the question. I'd like to have one later this fall. Brittany Lockwood, wish I could have sent the storm that my mom and I were driving in yesterday while running errands. Uh, yeah, we would mind some rain up here. I'll tell you that. Tom Henry, Brittany and I were um, uh, Brittany and I were looking forward to a cat. Uh, I guess we all have to leave since there's no cats in the condo. Laughing out lot. Yeah, I never promised you a rose garden, and I didn't promise you a cat today. But I'll promise you a cat on Saturday. Because uh, I'll be I'll be uh, broadcasting from the house on Saturday where the three cats are waiting for you, tr yours truly because I'm cat sitting. Um, and then uh, Jennifer gets back on Sunday from her camping outing with her sister, and uh, then we're sitting the cats um, ne until next Wednesday. So yeah, you'll you'll see some pussy cats next week. And Jordan, uh, morning, Richard C. Uh, cat Robert Crazy, uh, and saying hi to everybody as always. Fantastic job, uh, 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 Joseph uh, Hollyfield. This is not my first time. I just haven't been here in a while. Fantastic, Joseph. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Any questions, of course, uh, any comments, fire away. Um, 
everyone's going to say hi to you. Tom Henry saying hi. Everyone's saying hi back. Steamer, hey, Bruce, where are you vlogging from? Hey, Steamer, I'm in Calgary, and I'm in my daughter's condo. Uh, welcome back, buddy. Silo Steve is here today. Hey, cats and kittens. Seattle is 86 for the high. Sorry, Seattle is 76 for the high. 59 for the low. Still smoky. 72 days to the bliss trip, uh, number two in the haven. Then uh, on the ship during Halloween fun. 521 days until the encore on the Haven as well. So he's got uh, he's got cruises coming up. Bob O is here. Hi, Bruce and all. 90 in Pelham, Alabama. Go Tide. Uh, welcome back, Bob. Nice to have you. Joseph, Hollyfield, and finally no rain in North Carolina. Finally, the steamer going to see the 68 comeback special. Going to see the 68. Oh, Elvis. Uh, cool. And Jordan, uh, hey, the steamy bean. Uh, hey, Silo, Steve, everybody else. Robert Brandt, uh, live or semi-live, uh, Robert's wondering. Tom Henry, what happened at Amsterdam's airport yesterday that it was shut down? I, I think Cindy mentioned the problem. Hadn't heard about it, Tom Henry. Uh, hi, Bean. Ed Tolson, they said five, uh, what is this here? They said uh, they said a 0.5 better commerce and retail sales than expected last month was announced yesterday. This is, uh, this I believe, is uh, Walmart that their sales were up or uh, for yeah, and their their e their e market their um, internet sales were way up. They did really well, and uh, that helped the Walmart, uh, and that of course helped the market set a good positive tone to start the day, didn't it? The steamy bean heading to the local theater here in Ottawa to watch the '68 Elvis comeback special. Cool man, that's cool. Joseph, how about Disney in the stock market? Yeah, Disney today uh, didn't do much. Uh, uh, was it just slightly down a bit? Um, uh, Disney uh, trading. Let me just double check here. I didn't, I didn't see it here earlier. Disney, 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 Disney. Here we go. Um, Disney down 37 cents to 112.48 uh, on the day. Um, yeah, and it backed off at the end of the day. I wonder why that is. Uh, what caused it to do that? Um, not sure if we see anything that are uh, anything here. UK's message to Disney. But I don't know. Could Disney online streaming services hurt Netflix? Uh, uh, don't know. Don't know. Uh, something, something happened there. But uh, Disney did not participate in the almost 400 point uh, rally that the market had today very interesting okay tom henry uh uh here here is a toast your here is a toast here is a toast to your cruise robert 1862 of course straight from the fridge no mixers today <laughs> right on blue diamond hi everyone 77 in kentucky just a rainy gloomy day hi blue diamond welcome back i know you were on my test uh, run earlier today welcome to the show um robert brent thanks at tom henry carla miller hi bruce 97 degrees in arlington texas 30 days until my carnival breeze cruise right on robert brent i have a few tables of uh, cruisers drinking uh, rum drinks on this ship now <laughs> Right on, Robert. Convert them all. Tom Henry lopsided after I finished the toast. Uh, laugh out loud. Brittany uh, dragged the dr – dang, the smoke sounds super crazy. It is. Reggie and her man. Hey, uh, Tom Henry. Robert Brandt. Hey, Tom. Uh, Tom, you need to try the um, – uh, what, what, how do you pronounce it? A-N-E-J-O. Anjo. The Anjo 10-year-old Bacardi family reserve bottle. Ooh. Interesting. Blue Diamond. Hello, Ann Jordan. This is Heather Young. Just changed my name. Hey, there you go, Heather. Blue Diamond is now Heather Young is now Blue Diamond. Fantastic, Brittany. From the way things sound outside, I uh, I wish um, uh, I could ship the rain your way. I hear you. We we will take it. Debbie Manuel, hi all. Ninety three in Chico, California. A, a, a cool now since we'll be back to one hundred again this weekend. Smoke seems a bit better today, but fires uh, there's still still three of them. And smoke is everywhere. Yeah, we are also in it, Debbie. We are sucked in here. Tom Henry, I will have to let you know. What else we have when I start the next bottle? There are at least six bottles from our trip to Bacardi. <laughs> Fantastic, Tom. Reggie and her man, rum and coke for everybody. Tom Henry, how is Debbie feeling today? Silo, watch the video last night. NCL Joy Ship Tour by Bob's Your Uncle. The last few minutes, he gave his opinion. He said most of the guests were from mainland China, uh, spitting on the carpet, etc. What is that? Oh, that's kind of ridiculous. Reggie and her man. Hey, Silo, uh, Silo, Steve. Hello, Reggie. And Jordan, uh, Blue Diamond, Heather Young. Good morning. Um, let's see. Reggie and her man. See you on the uh, see, uh, Cruising with Wheels group cruise. Debbie Manuel. Hi, Thomas. I am doing better today. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, Reggie and her man. Uh, I remember that Elvis special. It was I was a big fan in the 70s. Uh, that was a big comeback. Um, and everyone's hoping Debbie feels better. Everyone's saying hi to everybody else here. Debbie Manuel, I am taking my mom and two aunts to see Elvis special tonight as well. How about that? Silo Steve, Reggie, 
Uh, were you on the bliss with me and cruising with wheels for the Alaska inaugural? Question mark. Debbie, uh, hi, Ann. I am much better today. Thank you very much. I am caught up with all of your messages to this point in time. We've got 41 viewers here. Welcome, all of you. I have some news here I wanted to pass you pass on to you guys today. We have 12 thumbs ups today. Thank you very much. Anybody can spare a thumbs up, please do. Also, uh, just mentioning that uh, we're now at 2,539 subscribers. We added like seven more since, uh, I guess, the day before yesterday because we were driving yesterday. So thank you, new subscribers, for joining in and coming by uh, and, and hopefully enjoying the live streams or the replays. Uh, today, uh, I wanted to mention a couple little things. I got a message today from uh, Dina, um, and I will try to pronounce this last name. It's it's Mayetta. Uh, I'm going to do my best. It's M-A-I-E-T-T-A, -T -T -A, Mayetta. Dina Mayetta was on the Carnival Horizon cruise ship when the uh, they had the engine problem at Amber Cove. That was about, what, three, four days ago now? And um, the ship uh, could not uh, stop at Amber Cove for the day. Uh, they had to leave Amber Cove, and they started working their way back north. It was basically their last scheduled stop on that eight-day cruise that left New York. And I guess uh, uh, the ship ended up uh, swinging past Grand Turk, and um, uh, they probably had that the next morning. And by the time they got to Grand Turk, there were at least two technicians waiting to join the ship back to New York to analyze the issue with the engine problem that they were having, the propulsion problem. Uh, they, picked them, they picked them both up. I believe the harbor master the harbor master probably brought his ship along the cruise ship and they just jumped on. Um, and they were on the, uh, they were on the ship all the way to New York city. And apparently uh, they got the issue fixed and the ship reserve uh, resumed full power uh, not too long after they were on board and uh, the ship is back in New York. And I guess today would have been turnaround day. Um, it, I wouldn't be surprised if right now the ship is heading out of New York uh, for its next cruise, which I believe was a four-day cruise. So I want to say, again, thank you, Deanna, for uh, sending me that message that you were actually on the ship. She was told that the captain kept them all appraised of what was going on about the engine miss, you know, engine issue and why they couldn't stop at uh, Amber Cove and all the apologies and they got a credit and all that. But then she went on to say, we heard nothing about the passing of a crew member. We did not know that a crew member had passed away the day before, um, because on the, the day before they were going to Amber Cove, they were in Grand Turk for the day. And I guess that morning, a crew member um, was discovered on board the ship and had passed away in the evening. And uh, he was in his 30s. And uh, the crew uh, obviously was uh, you know, sad about that. Carnival immediately reached out to the family of the crew member, and uh, uh, they apparently a number, a, a few members of this person's family are also employees of Carnival on other ships, and so they had to contact these employees on uh, at sea uh, to let them know uh, the bad news, and then they were uh, providing grief counselors for those folks and any other crew uh, on this particular ship here, the Horizon. Uh, obviously, they would obviously naturally um, contact the emergency contacts back home in India, including his wife. Uh, apparently, I don't believe he left behind any children, but he was married, and that's a sad story, and I guess they were broken up by it. But Diana says, we never heard about that. We got back to New York, and when we got back to New York, we found out that a crew member had died on this cruise. We didn't, no one said anything. So maybe uh, some folks on the cruise knew Perhaps some passengers were able to figure it out on the internet when they were on the ship. If they were watching me, you know, if you watch my show when you're on a cruise ship, you can stay on top of these things. I'm more than happy to kind of keep you updated. But anyway, what can I say? It's it's a sad story. Uh, but good news that the engine's okay, but sad story about losing a crew member. But um, anyway, the ship is back, and now we'll do a turnaround, I'm sure, and it'll be back to normal for the uh, for the horizon. So that was one piece of news today that I wanted to uh, uh, throw at you. Second piece of news was... Um, Quebec City in, in, in Canada. Uh, Quebec City uh, is on the St. Lawrence River. And um, uh, over the last uh, couple of years, uh, as cruise lines have been expanding their reach and trying to diversify their, uh, their uh, ports of call, uh, Quebec City has become a popular spot for cruise lines to bring cruise ship passengers to. And um, the, uh, the, uh, the port at Quebec City uh, is, is small. 
uh, designed for, well, originally, uh, 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 you know, from way back when in the 1800s, obviously, but in the 50s and 60s, when, when, when um, a lot of immigrants were coming to Canada from Europe after the Second World War, uh, especially in the 40, late 40s and 50s, Quebec received a lot of, of uh, immigrants. And so they built the port facilities to handle ocean liners uh, because the river is quite wide there and quite deep for ocean liners to even come up to, uh, to the port. Well, Quebec City now wants more of the tourist business that is the modern day version of, of Traveler. And uh, they want to handle up to 4,000 uh, passenger cruise ships. So um, something like the, the Carnival Horizon would be a perfect candidate for that kind of size. Thousand foot long ships is what they want to be able to handle. And so they're building a brand new terminal building in Quebec. And the, there's, a, there's a funding package that's been put together between the city of Quebec, the province, province of Quebec, and the government of Canada. And apparently it's a $40 million uh, deal. Uh, the, the, the build will begin uh, immediately. It, the, the, uh, the building should be open for 2020. So it's uh, a year and a half from now, roughly, or two years from now. They'll be up and running for the summer of 2020 to handle more because they're expecting more cruise ships to come. A lot of you folks uh, have noticed, I've noticed, the uh, fall color cruises are a big deal. Uh, cruises that uh, go through New England, and through um, the Atlantic Canadian provinces, the maritime provinces, and uh, into Quebec, even down to Montreal, uh, to see all the fall colors. And so um, uh, Quebec is a, a very popular summer st stop for cruise ships and also for fall. Uh, winter shuts right down. Uh, there's no, there's no uh, sailings into Quebec City in the winter. Um, too much, too much uh, ice and uh, snow and way too cold. So uh, it's sort of, certainly seasonal. Okay, so that's the news out of Quebec today. Uh, another piece of news today was uh, Ada Cruises. Uh, this is a company that's owned by a carnival, spelled A-I-D-I. Ada Cruises is a cruise line that uh, caters mainly to German-speaking cruisers uh, out of Hamburg and other spots. These cruise ships, uh, the Ada cruise ships, are uh, are um, uh, they sail around the world, but uh, they do a lot of, obviously, uh, uh, Northern European cruises, British Isles, uh, Mediterranean uh, and so on, but they do come to North America as well. Anyway, Ada Cruise uh, Company is about to receive, or, or well, they're getting close to receiving a new ship on the uh, on the 21st of August in five days. Their latest ship, called the Ada Nova, will come out of the um, uh, building at the Meyer Werft Shipyard in northern Germany. This Meyer Werft Shipyard has a huge building it's like a garage where ships get built inside indoors all the way until they're virtually completed and they then bring out the float out the completed ship or virtually completed ship in this case uh, this one will be floated out on august the 21st it is the first ship for ada that is uh, liquid natural gas powered they have four cummings diesel or four cummings engines that can handle liquid natural gas uh, on this ship, it's coming out, will be floated out beside the building, and there they will do the rest of the completion work, including the last of the smokestacks on the very, very top, because they're too tall for the garage. And a whole bunch of the interior work will be completed as well. Um, the ship is expected to hit the open sea for sea trials at the end of September, so about five weeks from now, roughly six weeks. And then um, by mid-November, that ship will be uh, looking after paying customers and it will hold 5,200 passengers, 1,400 crew. Um, she's 1,100 feet long, 138 feet wide and 180,000 tons. That is a big, big boat. That'll be the, one of the top five ships or top seven, I guess. After you take the Oasis class ships out of the picture from the Royal Caribbean, this will be kind of in second place uh, behind those class of ships. That's how big this ship is. So that's coming. And uh, we'll hear all kinds of press about it. We'll see all kinds of video on it. And I'll try to keep you posted on what I hear and when, when I hear it. Anyway, that's the latest on, on that. I have a little more news, but I just want to check on my messages, make sure I'm uh, I'm up to speed with all of you guys. Um, double check, triple check. I've been getting uh, info coming through here. Okay. Uh, Brittany, I, I most likely will be listening in uh, about to get to some serious packing 
want to be done and have my mom's vehicle packed tonight. And I hope to be asleep early before 2 a.m. Central Time. <laughs> I hope so too, Brittany. Good luck tomorrow. Uh, Rob Sutter. Hi, Bruce from um, uh, Wilmington, Delaware. 97 degrees here. Hey, buddy. Welcome back, Rob. Richard C. Thumbs up. Tom Henry um, at Robert Brandt. Uh, check the Bacardi bag. Looks like we have a bottle of limited uh, and superior and one downstairs in the fridge. So the there's more, more, more booze to sample. Ha, fantastic, Tom. The steaming beans. See you there, Debbie. Laughing out loud. Uh, Robert Brandt. It's all good, Tom Henry. Um, Reggie and her man Silo. Uh, nope, but saw you in the photos. Wish I was close friend in New York. Grew up in, in, in Ketchikan. Never been. So he was not on that cruise with you there, buddy. Robert Brandt. If you ever um, run across it, a uh, Cockspur rum with the rooster on it, on its. Made in Barbados is delicious, Tom Henry. There you go. There's some suggestions from someone who want to know. Uh, Cat Rose, keep the tech uh, aboard. There you go. Keep, that's right. Keep that ship running. Richard C., uh, great. The mechanics fix the problem. How about those apps? Apples. Uh, yeah, let's hope it works out. Tom Henry um, uh, at Rob Souter, does your truck have AC? Um, Rob, uh, yeah. Yeah, Tom, my truck is AC. Um not sure why he's asking. Uh, Brittany, I'm glad to hear uh, whatever was going on with the Carnival Rises issues was resolved. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are. Uh, Cat Rose, uh, glad they are on ships and not clogging up roads in New England. There you go. That's right. That's right. Keep those tourists on the ships. Cat, not a good crew to passenger ratio. Interesting. Uh, DNG Explorers, good afternoon all. How are you guys? Hey, we're doing pretty good. Apparently, the show is working well on this uh, this uh, internet frequency so far so good. And Jordan, hey D and G, afternoon. How are you guys doing? Rob Souter, Quebec, getting more government money. I guess our taxes are going up, eh, Bruce? Yeah, Rob. Well, you know, uh, the good news, I guess, is the forty million they're spending. Uh, they're probably going to get that back pretty quick. Uh, Four thousand passengers a ship. Um, they're probably looking to ramp up uh, visits. And the good news with these folks is that they're non-voting taxpayers. Uh, they they land. They got on board, they spent all kinds of money and they pay those sales taxes and everything else. And then they get back on the ship and leave. And when it's election time, you never hear from them. They never complain. Um, but boy, you know, if you're in Quebec City in, in August, yeah, you're in a pretty special place. Uh, if you've never been there, folks, take a look at uh, uh, YouTube videos about Quebec City uh, or uh, uh, or just Google photos about Quebec. It's unbelievable. The city's gorgeous. Uh, the old downtown is really something spectacular. Mm. Excuse me. Um, anyway, uh, that should be pretty good. I'm sure they'll get that 40 million back pretty quick. That that terminal will last a long time. That terminal building. Uh, Robert saying hi, DNG. Um, let's see here, uh, DNG. Hi, Ann. Jordan is doing great. Inventory is done. Uh, Bard, what happened to the traveling with Bruce T-shirt? You're uh, are you on vacation? I I'm in Calgary. I'm not at home. I didn't bring the shirts with me. I just brought my polos with me, and I'm wearing those at this point. But when I'm back. I'll have my shirts back on again, and I'll have my coffee mug, and all will be good. Uh, head over to the uh, website. I put a new logo up just the other day. Check out the uh, latest one and see what you think. It, it's a it's a seal. It's like looks like a it looks like one of those corporate seals, and it actually just goes around the heart here. It's pretty cool. I, I think you might like it. Check it out. Um, let's see here. Uh, Seakeeper. By the time Quebec City, the government of Quebec, and the federal government are done arguing, not much will get built, and certainly won't be built on time. I speak from experience, unfortunately. Uh, you know, uh, what can I say, uh, Sea Keeper? I was surprised it was going to take till 2020. Uh, if you're going to do this in Miami, it's ready in three months. <laughs> That's the way it goes. I don't know. DNG, hi, Tom Henry, Robert Brandt, Bart, what color does Bruce's polo look like to you? Bart, here's the scoop testing question. All right. What color? What color is this book? Okay. You see this book right here? What color is this cover? And, and what color is this shirt? Okay. Are they the same? All right. I don't think so. This is peach. Okay. This is the other color, you know, you know whose color this is. Okay, I'm not saying his name. I'm not saying the color. I don't want to lose subscribers. I keep losing subscribers every time I do that. But what, what color is that uh, versus that? This is or this is peach. This peach right here. This is this is not this is not peach. This is the other color. <laughs> We're having too much fun of this. Um, Bart, um, uh, hang on a second. Let me just sing a second. We'll see what's going on here. Uh, Seakeeper, I saw that seal, Bruce. Very nice, Mr. Bruce. Very nice, isn't it? Uh, I'll tell you, I'm a sea keeper. That's one of the best I think that's ever been done. Uh, Bart, uh, orange, uh, Robert Brandt. She's right. Well, yeah, the book is orange. I, I know the book is orange. Um, Tom Henry, I was just looking uh, at the route Bruce needed to drive from Creston to Calgary. Very convoluted to do the mountains. What a, a nice view, Bruce, from your home. 
we need to get those power lines blurred. Yeah, there you there. Yeah, we've got to get rid of those power lines, put them underground. That would be nice. Barb, uh, orange is the book and uh, shirt, they are the same color. No, 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 that's not true. No, come on now. That, that's not true. Look at it. Look at this color right here. Look at that. And then look, look at this. Look, look, no, wait, that, that's not the same. No, 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 no. This is a peach color here. And it, this is my navel. Okay, this is my navel. No, 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 no. Come on now. Get it. Look at that. Look at that book. That that book is so orange. I mean, it just stands out orange. This this, this is peach. This is, I wouldn't wear one of those colored shirts. I wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, I'm having too much fun here. Um, getting into so much trouble. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, Tom, uh, that route. Uh, we do the southern route uh, through Fernie, BC, and through Cranbrook. And through the Frank, uh, past the Frank slide, and then we come up Highway Number Two to Calgary. Um, and it's interesting; it's a fascinating drive. I mean, from Creston, it's mountains, and uh, right through until we get through Frank Slide, and then we come right into open prairie. And I mean, flatland, baby. We're talking tabletop, uh, grain growing country. Uh, we're barreling home on uh, on that up here to Calgary. But then the reverse is true. We uh, we drive all the way back down south. Just about to Port McLeod, make a right-hand turn, head west, and head into the mountains again. And it changes so dramatically. Uh, and in the winter, oh, is it ever fun in the winter? Because you're going through weather systems that you're just, they're totally different. Uh, the weather system here versus the weather system in the foothills and the weather system in the Rockies. Uh, it's just winter tires uh, on all four wheels, so I'll tell you right now. Uh, let's see your uh, cat, different shades of it. There you go. Uh, Regina, man, the book and the shirt are the same color, Bruce. Tom Henry, Bruce, they look very close on the on the transmission. Need more light. Richard C., uh, better not knock on our president, Bruce. You know, I can't I can't afford it. I can't afford to lose subscribers. Uh, I talk about, you know who, and, and down go the subscriber counts. <laughs> what can I say? You just can't make people happy, you know. Uh, and then I got guys like Robert Brandt. That is stirring the pot, just stirring the pot. Oh my goodness, um, uh, Robert Brent. I think we all think it's. <laughs> I think we all think it's that color. That's what Robert's saying. I, I can't even read it. We all think it's that color, Bruce. We all think it's that color. That shirt is that color, and that's all there is to. Well, that's it. That's it. Right? You guys have to wait. I'll be right back. I got enough of this. Uh, what a guy has to do for his own telecast. It's unreal. You know, some days you just gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta you gotta make it happen. You gotta yeah, you gotta, you gotta keep the people happy. You just you know, you gotta you gotta you know, you gotta get away from oops, just dropped my pillow. Hang on there, folks. You gotta get away from the you know from the controversial colors and go neutral. And uh, well here we are. Oh, sorry about the hair there, folks. All right. What color is this shirt? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness what a guy has to do to be on the air on youtube these days it, it's not easy it used to be a lot easier but it's not that easy anymore a friend of mine used to say oh my gosh um yeah it's not easy sea keeper uh photoshop says <laughs> fe8857 a citrus color there thank you uh, <laughs> and jordan 50 shades of orange, Bruce, 50 shades of orange. Tom Henry Bruce just lost his clearance. Uh, Christine, uh, good afternoon all. Oh, Christine, it's been a tough one. Oh, it's been hard here in Calgary. Paul Lucas, is, it, it, it is that color, Robert. It, it is that color. Silo, Bruce and the giant peach. Uh, Robert Brand, 50 shades of the swamp. Paul Lucas is laughing out loud. Robert Brand, he, he, I do, I, yeah, you're stirring it up. Paul Wilgus laughing out loud. Bart, okay, they're a little, they're a little different in color. Oh, okay, they're a little different in color. Oh, okay, uh, Tom Henry, yep, it, it, it's the lighting. Reggie and your man, but still orange. Uh, Seakeeper, at least you don't do the bronzer uh, in, in the uh, in the tube thing, Bruce. And for that, we are thankful. There you go, uh, <laughs> instigator. That's right, you're an instigator. Paul Wilgus, like, like always, Robert. Uh, Reggie and your man, we we wouldn't be able to see Bruce if we had fake. Uh, tan lotion laughing out loud. Robert Brandt uh, stirring, but never said it. Uh, Paul Wilgus, Reggie and man laughing out loud. Robert Brandt, is, is he changing his shirt? He went to change. Uh, Robert Brandt, oh, okay. Uh, it, 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 it was Paulish shirt color. <laughs> C 
sick for oh lord please no he, he's going to take take the fe 8857 shirt up reggie and her man get, get back here you coward robert brand much better blue reggie and her man blue bar much better blue cat rose this color looks way better with your skin paul wilgus that, that's better bruce uh, reggie and her man Let's, let's give Bruce some thumbs up here. He deserves some help here. Rob Sutter, I used to deliver to St. Charles near Quebec City. All I can say, I refuse to cross into Quebec anymore. A lot of angry Quebecers that don't want English-speaking Canadians there. There you go. Nina Frank, I, I, I uh, see, I told I told you a long time ago, Bruce, 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 lose your color. See, I told, Nina told me, Bruce, you got to wear blue. It's your color. Uh, don't wear that other stuff. Uh, don't be wearing no peach or or, or 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 other knockoff color to peach. Don't be doing that stuff and that that EE eight eight five eight seven code stuff. Don't wear that color. Wear blue. Uh, you're better off. Oh man, Robert Brandt traveling with Bruce. This is why we all show up all the time. It's just so much fun. <laughs> uh, I was packing that thing. I was going. That's great. I can wear peach. Yeah, I can wear that shirt. Sure. Not indoors without good lighting. I can't. I'll tell you that right now. Oh man. Having too much fun. Your silo, Steve. Oh, new shirt. Uh, like the red. <laughs> oh, look, it's so right, Robert. Uh, Desi Wagner, Bruce, I am working. When, when, when did you change your shirt? Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, it's always been blue. Uh, I wasn't wearing anything else. Uh, <laughs> Desi, you're going to have to watch the rerun because uh, five minutes ago, all hell broke loose, and uh, Robert just stirred it up, and here we are. I'm wearing, I'm wearing the shirt now. This 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 best uh, this this uh, TWB best show always. Uh, thank you, Anne. You're so kind. <laughs> Too much fun. I always look forward to getting on the air and uh, having fun. I was really worried last night. Oh gosh, this is not going to work. The bandwidth is so weak. I had my daughter call her service provider to say, "Hey, what's with this uh, internet? They're sending her a brand new modem, brand new latest version. Hopefully, it'll make her single stronger than it is. I'm just praying this one hangs out." So far, we're hanging in there. We're, we're doing all right. Uh, Robert Brandt, it, it, it's one of those blue oranges. <laughs> there we go again. Seakeeper, and here you are herding cats again. This is fun. You see, Ann Jordan, morning, Desi, how are you? Paul Wilgus, blue with a hint of orange, Robert. Tom Henry, where are all the uh, TWB shirts? Maybe we need to order, uh, I'll order some and ship them to them. Now, there's a good idea. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think you guys should order a dozen each. And send me like, uh, I don't know, 10 each. Keep some for yourself. And yeah, let's get this site going. <laughs> That's okay with me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, that is fun. Reggie Nerman, I um, need to drink a Blue Moon uh, for the occasion. There you go. Robert Brandt, Blue Moon beer is good. Silo, Mint Olympia. And Desi, good morning. And uh, too much fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have one more piece of news today that I was going to tell you guys about. I did some research today. Uh, caught this this afternoon. It's Princess Cruises. Princess came out with an announcement this afternoon, um, which we'll probably hear about the next week or two uh, on other news sites. Um, it's not like earth shattering news, but I found it rather interesting. And honestly, I have to actually preface this by saying I can't believe it's taken this long for this to be done. But then what do I know? Uh, here it is. Um, Princess Cruises has launched a new online wedding planner and honeymoon gift registry app. Uh, this allows couples to choose uh, the plan, their wedding plan, because you can you can go from like you know low cost wedding on a cruise ship to how high you dare to go, um, and and you can purchase. Uh, uh, you can purchase, uh, yeah, they can choose their the wedding plan and, and and purchase their wedding package and their recreation, their reception op options, not recreation, reception options. So first you got the, you got the ceremony, you know, so you need, you know, how many folks are coming to that, how many bridesmaids and groomsmen and all that, how many family members. So there's that. Then the reception situation, what, how do you want to do that? Um, now, uh, a number of couples, you know, they get on a cruise ship with maybe four people, uh, you know, the, the husband and the husband and wife to be, the, the bride and the groom, and 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 you know, two two maids of honor and 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 or or two groomsmen or you know, the two moms and dads, you know, <laughs> and it's a short and sweet tiny little ceremony, and then they head to the main dining room for a bite to eat. Um, but uh, on a cruise ship, you can go all out. Uh, you can really go all out, and of course, with those private islands in the Caribbean, um, 
you know, that's why $200 million is being spent by Royal Caribbean right now on, uh, on uh, Coco, Coco Key. Um, uh, they're putting 200 million bucks over there because the water rides are one thing and the zip lines are another, but they want to also host weddings um, at that place. And so they'll have the pavilion and they'll have, uh, they'll have the, uh, the dining facilities and the bar facilities and everything else. So you can go really all out with a, with a wedding off the ship, but at a private island in the Caribbean, whatever you like. Um, so anyway, this is a new app that's been put together and being launched and released. Uh, <clears throat> it says here that Princess Cruises enables, they said that the, the new app enables couples to create their own honeymoon website with the honeymoon gift registry app. And um, um, they can send out RSVPs, they can upload photos and more. And gift registry allows guests to gift money for the couple to spend on their cruise. There you go. So, you know, if they're going to announce that we're getting married on the, uh, you know, the Harmony of the Seas, or not Harmony of the Seas, in this case it would be the Royal the royal Princess, it would be a Princess Cruise Line ship. The Royal Princess, we're getting married on the Royal Princess and we're going to have a reception on board. Uh, they might send out RSVPs. You want to come? We're going to put a group cruise together for this deal. You can come. Uh, but uh, some folks might say, oh, we, I can't can't do it. I, I can't afford the cost of flying down to wherever your ship is going to be taking off from. Can't afford this cruise as cheap as it is. I, you know, can't do it. But I can send you a hundred bucks uh, for you know having a good time. Well, here they can send them a hundred dollars right on board spending money. Here you go. Here's a hundred bucks. Use it for whatever you want. So now the the bride and groom can sort of you know dictate before the cruise even starts. They can see oh we've got fifteen hundred dollars of cash here or two thousand bucks or whatever the amount is three hundred twenty eight dollars. And they can dictate where that goes, and uh, and uh, you know, jazz up or, or tone down the wedding depending on the reaction of uh, of all the uh, guests and relatives and everything else. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, um, I'm surprised that this isn't industry standard. I, I I just don't understand why this isn't normal already. Why this isn't a really heavily done deal already by the cruise lines? I'm uh, somewhat uh, somewhat perplexed by that. Uh, maybe I'm missing something. I, I'm not paying attention. I don't know. But anyway, um, uh, Princess has made a big deal about it today with this announcement, uh, and, and I'm sure we'll see more uh, about this announcement probably in the next few days as they kind of hype it up and uh, promote it a bit. Because weddings at sea are a popular way to go. Uh, and of course, honeymoons at sea, standard stuff for decades, honeymoons at sea are a normal, quite a normal thing, not an unusual thing to, to you know, have for, for couples to do. There you go. Okay, let's see what any more any more interesting comments here. Oh, they're coming. Um, uh, Bob, oh, typically you put on an orange. You put you put an orange in a blue moon. Oh my! Uh, <laughs> thanks, Bob. Uh, Rob Souter, uh, where's the cat? Does the cat have a blue shirt too? Uh, shortly. The, the way this thing's going, unbelievable. I laugh out loud, Bob. Paul saying, uh, Re Reggie and your man, uh, uh, Bob. Oh yeah, the Chevy in first. Hey y'all. 90s today here, 38 days, and uh, the packing and checking off my checklist has begun. <laughs> Fantastic, Chevy. First, we're having a good time here. Question, travel insurance, yay or nay? Still dragging my feet on it. Um, travel insurance. Um, I, would check, uh, I would check for travel insurance. Uh, if you have life insurance right now with your own agent at home, you get enough time, give your local agent a call. Talk to them about a travel insurance package. See if you can get some kind of a uh, an overall travel insurance deal through them. Tell them what you're doing. Tell them what you know what your holiday is about. How long, where, what you're doing. Uh, you might find that they can give you a pretty decent quote. They might be able to throw a writer into uh, either a life insurance policy you have, or maybe through your home. Or give them a call. You just you just don't know. Avoid uh, avoid the insurance uh, through like uh, like your cruise line. Now, it might be very pr pricey for what you're getting, and it might have so many deductions and the and exemptions that you might not want to do that. But uh, check with your own insurance provider if you can. That's That would be my advice to you. Anyone else have any advice? Uh, by all means, let her know. Regent Man saying, yay. Robert Brandt, uh, shipping first. If you are traveling during hurricane season in an area that tends to get them, definitely buy the insurance. Paul Wilgus, I agree, Robert. Um, Richard C., shipping first. Yeah, if you get sick, best money spent. If your luggage is lost, you, you get money for clothes on the ship. And Jordan, uh, morning, Chevy first, you, you definitely need travel insurance. Chevy, go through your uh, travel agent or some credit cards that have travel insurance. Check with your bank. Oh, by the way, yeah, your credit cards. Check your credit cards to see if you have travel insurance built in to your credit cards already. Check that out. Uh, you might be surprised. 
Okay. Rob Sutter heard uh, Royal Caribbean getting rid of some of the uh, onboard credits when you book. Yes, uh, I I read that a bit and then I, I, I turned away from it. I, I just wasn't paying attention to that story very much. But there is something about when you book, uh, if you book early with a non-refundable deposit, you would get a some kind of a, de a ship credit of some kind and they're dispensing with that. And some people weren't too happy about it. Cat Rose, Plan Planet Cruise was talking about that. Okay, uh, Chevy first. The carnival insurance is 65 a person. So should I get it from there? No, uh, no, no. Do not pay $65 per person. No, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. What do you guys think? Should she, should she be doing this through Carnival Direct? I don't think so. Uh, check with, uh, are you a member of the AAA, uh, the, the American Automobile Association? You probably get uh, travel insurance through them for less. You, if you are a member, you may already have travel insurance through them as well. Look into that. Uh, but I would look into your credit cards and I would check with your local, uh, your own insurance agent, your car insurance agent. Talk to them. I mean it. Call them. Just if they're local, by all means, give them a call. Uh, Tracy, I lost uh, connection for a few thunder and lightning now, but and in that few minutes, looks like all hell broke loose. Robert Brandt and Posey, you're being bad again. <laughs> you see, Tracy, you got it. You, you 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 go away a little while and you come back and it's it's all different. What happened? Oh yeah. Oh, it's, Robert started it. Yeah, Robert did it. That's how it starts. Oh yeah, uh, Kate, uh, a cat legalities about marriage licenses. Mm, that's right. Paul Wilgus, Chevy first shop around. Uh, Richard C just got off my uh, just got my stockholders credit for my cruise in 45 days from Princess. This is the fifth time I got an onboard credit just for having 100 plus shares of their stock plus dividends. That's right. Become a shareholder of a cruise line and book cruises through that line. You'll get a you'll get a credit, an added shareholder credit just for being a shareholder. Good deal. DNG Explorers. I heard that uh, too, Rob. I I heard they were getting rid. Um, uh, of that perk for booking a non-refundable deposit and giving a stateroom credit. They, they're getting rid of it, they're cutting stuff back. Robert Brandt, uh, Carnivals includes medical emergency. So if you have to be helicoptered off, it's very expensive and 65 bucks is cheap in the long run. If something happens, yes, as long as you're covered without a deductible, yes. But uh, you might get an even better deal from your own uh, insurance agent. Christine, uh, uh, Coco Key could also offer scuba weddings offshore. Those seem to be getting more popular too. There you go, but there's another one. There's a lot of folks who will, uh, for example, they'll get married, say, in the Cayman Islands. They'll get off the ship. Uh, they'll have their uh, they'll have a little carry-on carry, carry -on suitcase with them, and in there's the wedding dress and, you know, the formal attire. They're getting off in their civvies. They go to the island, and then uh, they'll head for one of the resorts uh, on Seven Mile Beach, and the wedding ceremony is going to be held at uh, 11 in the morning. And they have the wedding at 11, and by 11.30, 11.45, it's all over. And then from noon until like three o'clock, it's drink time. It's just party time on the beach right there. And uh, some folks choose to have a, a scuba wedding. They get all scuba out, you know, scuba out and into the water they go. Uh, it, it's all up to you. There's there's a million ways to do this. Some folks just like to have their wedding ceremony on a beach with a bit of an archway, you know, with flowers on it over top and with the sun in the back, a beautiful shot, aqua, watercolor, very nice. It can be done in the Bahamas. Uh, can be done in uh, Cayman, uh, St. Thomas. I mean, all over the place. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Robert Brandt, who, who me? Uh, what uh, Tracy? What what? Who me? I didn't do anything. And Jordan, uh, shipping first, expensive on cruise ship. Uh, go through your travel agent or shop around. I agree, Paul. My travel insurance is on my credit card. It covers myself and my son. There you go. Richard C. Always buy from the cruise line. Best deal if you're a frequent cruiser. Interesting if you're a frequent. I think this is uh, shipping first, first ever cruise. I'd be shopping around on this one. Tom Henry, yes, see, Richard, see, I had been looking at cruises uh, on vacations to go and found a cruise checked on the Norwegian cruise line, and the price was exactly the same. Yeah, it's not always cheaper, but you always want to keep an eye on vacationsgo.com just in case it is cheaper. Because I hear from people who tell me, Bruce, you saved me 300 bucks. I, I checked out the difference. It's 300 less. I couldn't believe it. I'm so happy. Uh, Robert Brandt, do you want travel medical coverage or just in case the trip gets canceled? Due to storms, delay, etc. Again, that depends on you know what is it you need. Um, obviously, if you need uh, that kind of coverage, uh, uh, medical, uh, it'll be more than just cancellation. But again, I, I would check with uh, your credit card, your banker, uh, and then I would check with AMA if you like. I say American Motor Association or AAA, whatever it's called, and you put your own insurance agent. I would do that. Uh, MG Toe ships insurance is written for the ship, not you. Interesting, Linda Jackson. 
Try uh, Alliance Global Assistance for Travel Insurance. There's a good suggestion. Thank you, Linda. Carla Miller, Costco has a travel agency and they sell travel insurance. I book my cruises through them. How about that? See, another good suggestion. And Jordan, never buy travel insurance through cruise line or airlines. They are expensive. Richard C., Tom Henry, if you call the cruise planner directly from the cruise line, sometimes they have even better prices than listed on their site or vacations to go. It only takes a phone call. There you are, too. Uh, Robert Brandt, did you say it was drink time? Bruce, did, did you say it was drink time? Uh, Chevy first, Robert, I guess I am more concerned with uh, if the trip gets canceled due to weather and medical because you never know. As far as luggage, I uh, I will have the most important stuff on in my carry-on. Well done. D&G uh, at Robert Brandt. Uh, Gregory is interested in doing Sea Trek underwater experience in St. Thomas. Have you heard of this? Is it a good tour? Uh, I'm terrified of getting eaten by a shark, so I'm not sure I can do it. <laughs> All right, on Tracy. Uh, yes, um, yes, you, Robert Brandt, laugh out loud. You're the one. You're the troublemaker. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, at Paul Wilgus, uh, will you be able to stay awake for the trivia tonight? Uh, 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 Tom wants to know. Bruce, we both had trouble sleeping this morning. <laughs> Robert Brent, TNT Explorers. Yes, I I have heard it's fun. Uh, we don't have large sharks often, so, so so that's a good time. Paul Wilkes said, "Tom Henry, I, I will um, I will have no problem laughing out loud." Uh, sea Keeper, we got married in a church with a priest and organist and about twenty people in attendance. Man, were we boring? Uh, <laughs> we were old school. We were boring. Robert Brent, uh, many medical policies you have do not cover you in a foreign port. Interesting. MG Toe, you want exasperation, exact expatriation, expatriation coverage. That's what you want. Expatriation in case you get left behind by the ship. Um, what's this here? Um, uh, re R E K T G G. That's uh, Rick Tag uh, is here asking. Do you know why the engine broke on the Carnival Horizon? We don't know what actually happened. We do know that they had a propulsion issue and one of the azipods was malfunctioning. They were trying to bring the ship to the, to the dock at Amber Cove, a tricky little maneuver. Couldn't control the azipod properly. They had to shut it down and they made their way back towards uh, Grand Turk and then ultimately to New York. The two technicians they brought in, they flew into Grand Turk and then they put them on the ship through uh, the Harbor Master's uh, boat. Uh, they were able to, I guess, reprogram the uh, Azipod with all the software. And I'm guessing, just guessing, that it was a software issue and that it's back to normal because the ship went right back to normal cruising speed within a few hours of the techs getting on board. But um, because it's a brand new ship and the engine is fully warrantied right now, the builder of the engines would have sent the techs to the ship the ship wouldn't touch the, the engine at all. They just shut it off, leave it alone until the techs got there. Then the techs touched it <laughs> and reworked it, did the whatever it had to do. And now apparently all is fine. Ship is up and running. That's all I know. Uh, Robert Brandt, uh, correct MG toe. D&G Explorers at Robert Brandt often. Uh, Robert Brandt, well, I can't say never, but I've never ever seen issues due to large sharks in St. Thomas in 30 years. Yeah, St. Thomas is not known for... Uh, Great white shark problems. Uh, Paul Wilgus laughing out loud. Uh, Richard C. MG Toe. Also, MG, depending on what country you go to, there is also ransom insurance for some ports. It's a good idea in Mexico and some other locations. Let's scare the heck out of everybody. Tom Henry at Sea Keeper. Any booze? Not, 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 not my reception. Uh, just some good fire uh, or good food, uh, family style, turkey and beef. No drunks in attendance. There you go. Chevy first, one more question, snorkel or S N U or scuba excursion? It will be my first time, but I'm a good swimmer. Well, scuba, nothing wrong with a scuba thing, but whichever turns you on, uh, MG Toe, yes, Richard, cat, Chevy, uh, snorkel. She says snorkel. Richard C, MG Toe, it would be good to have if you go to Jamaica also. Carla Miller, snorkel, and Jordan, Chevy first, it's always best to have real, to have travel insurance. Chevy, it's best to be safe. You can afford to travel. If you don't have insurance, you uh, you'll have an awesome if you don't have insurance, just have an awesome cruise. Tom Henry at Robert Brandt. Um, those sharks uh, might make an exception for Derek. Uh, he is pretty cute. Uh, keep the twins locked up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Robert Brandt's laughing. Paul's laughing. Seakeeper. Uh, oh, um, uh, TH Champagne flowed. Um, 
Tell him, Henry, the champagne flowed. The caterer outdid uh, um, uh, herself. Music was great. Oh, how we had danced on the night we were wet. We danced and danced because the room had had no bed. <laughs> so we danced. <laughs> D&G Explorers uh, laughing away. Uh, Tom Henry. Uh, Kat, um, scuba, you need to be. Yeah, uh, don't do not do scuba. You need to be certified. You got snorkeling. Uh, Chevy, scuba is no tank. There's a hose that goes on the top. Debbie Manuel, shoot, great show, Bruce. Have to sneak out early. Be back in two hours. Toodles, you betcha, Debbie. I'm on 8 o'clock. Trivia tonight, Robert Grant, uh, PD, uh, PADI certification is only a day in the swimming pool for scuba. And Jordan laughing out loud. Uh, Chevy first. So it's not scuba. It's called snuba. No typo laughing us. It's called snuba because you're not, you're not independently carrying air tanks, I guess. Yeah. Uh, to me, I think sco uh, snorkeling is the way to go. You just float in the water, look down. You're just like at the, on the top of an aquarium down there. It's incredible. Richard C. Bye. Um, okay. Uh, I've got my news covered here for the day that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, I've got uh, uh, all the info I needed to get you guys. I've got the right color shirt on, apparently. i got 25 uh, thumbs ups already. Um, so you know, I must be doing something right. Uh, and I thank you all for that. Uh, if anyone else can give me thumbs up today. I would appreciate that very much. I am on tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern, for trivia. I got trivia ready to go here. Uh, right out of Calgary, smoky Calgary, Alberta. Unbelievable out here. What can I say? Uh, so I'm looking forward to doing that with you guys. And Jordan, see you, Tokyo Debbie. See you at the trivia. Robert Brandt uh, with uh, Shallow Reefs Snorkel. Uh, MG told those $199 cruises to Alaska with port fees, taxes, insurance, airfare, returned up to be $21.99. Yeah, wow. Well, you know, you add, if you want to add it on, you want to add and add and add and add, you can do it. Um, like I said, uh, those those uh, five ninety nine cruises would be twenty five ninety nine ninety nine, right? So they'd be they'd be four hundred more. Uh, and Jordan, thumbs up. Tracy Dunlap. See everyone later. Sea Keeper. I swam with sharks in Aruba. Delightful animals. I also did the stingray thing in Cayman. Got stung by jellyfish in Cozumel. I just love sea creatures. <laughs> Tom Henry, uh, I just got an email with port charges for my um, uh, uh, March 30th, 1919, 19, 2019 Bliss Cruise. I just got my email with port charges. D&G Explorers, uh, looking forward to it. Uh, that's trivia tonight. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, no PV and Menzillo, men's, men's Mexico. No PV, no PV, no we don't know. And Manzilla, Mexico. Robert Brent, thumbs ups all over the place uh, for sure. Thank you, Robert Brent. We are hope to uh, hope to pile up the thumbs ups as the show kind of winds out. Thirty right now we got. Thank you everybody for giving me thumbs ups today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the show today. If you did, please do hit me with a thumbs up and uh, send me a comment telling me you enjoyed it. Uh, written comments also count on the um, on the credibility meter at YouTube. Any kind of comment, a great show, uh, enjoyed it, anything like that, please send me. I'll probably heart you back with a little heart back. That also adds momentum to the channel, and I thank you all for doing that too. Plus, uh, any videos you're watching lately of mine, if you can share them on Facebook to your friends, that would be great too. I'd appreciate that. Help spread the channel's footprint out there. Puerto Vallarta, Tom Henry saying, no Puerto Vallarta, and Manzillo, Manzillo, Mexico is what he's saying. Okay, okay, I got it. And Jordan, great show, Bruce. Trivia is a go. Uh, Cat, Puerto Vallarta. Robert Brandt, see you back for trivia. Sea Keeper, great show, Bruce. Dinner won't fix itself. Got to go. Tom Henry, are those glasses full, Robert? <laughs> All those glasses. Uh, are they empty or full? All right, you guys. Uh, Roger, man, bye for now. See you, see you buddies. Uh, thanks for coming by, everybody, today. Thank you for joining my show. This was August the 16th, 2018 for my 5 o'clock show. I'm on in one hour, 55 minutes for trivia. And I'm looking forward to having you pop by. And we'll see if I can... Uh, we'll see if we can stump you through any of these questions. We'll see how it goes. All right, this is Bruce of Traveling with Bruce saying thanks. For joining me, first show out of Calgary, we had fun, and I'll see you at uh, 8 o'clock Eastern for trivia. Take care, everybody. See you for now.